Hello, Assalamu alaikum. I'm Dr. Asif Nawaz, lecturer in anatomy and junior surgical resident. Today, as I said before, the intro or introduction of large intestine. Now the first part of the large intestine is the cecum and the vermiform appendix. Here you can see the cecum, the first part of the large intestine and inferiorly there is a worm like substance, worm like tubular substance which is called the vermiform appendix. It's named as a vermiform because vermiform is a name which came from vermicularis that means a worm of gut. It looks like that worm. That's why this structure is so called vermiform appendix. This appendix is found only in the human, not the other animals it is only found in the human so it directly connected with the cecum or opens in the cecum so let's start cecum is the most shortest but dilated portion that means its length is six centimeter but the breadth is 7.5 centimeter so 7.5 centimeter so breadth is more than the length the length is 6 centimeter so quite shorter and the transverse diameter is 7.5 centimeter along the transtubercular plane in the abdominal wall i already told you there is a two plane one is transpyloric plane, one is transtubercular plane. So, along the transtubercular plane, the ilocecal orifice or the opening line along with the transtubercular plane. So, this is an opening where the small intestine enters into the large intestine. So, so it looks like a pedunculated structure. It, this ilocecal orifice lies posterior medial wall of the cecum, and it protrudes into the cecum. Okay, it protrudes into the cecum. It just present 2.2 centimeter above the appendicular orifice so then let me show you how that tinea or the three longitudinal ligament at confront or reunited to form the base of the here you can see the tinea libera then a tinea omentalis and this is tinea mesocolica so tinea libera omentalis and mesocolica they reunited to form the base of the appendix so the base of uh, it is it has a surgical importance where a base of the appendix is found by tracing these three longitudinal muscle fibers Here the ilocecal orifice. These ilocecal orifice looks two important lips that is superior lip and inferior lip. It look like a transverse slit, slit like orifice. So they are opposed with each other and transverse slit. So from the orifice, two centimeter below, there is another orifice where appendix is originated. This is called the appendicular orifice. This orifice is guarded by 
guard of valve of guard latch so valve of guard latch will control the entry or control the secretion of appendicular organ and here there is another valve present ilocecal valve that helps to control the food particles from small intestine to large intestine also prevents the backflow of the fecal matter into the small intestine so this is called the frenulum so this full area the anteropost superior inferior transverse lead is also called to, together frenulum now the internal structures here you can see it the here is also present some circular folds so as like small intestine inner to outward mucous membrane then lamina propria muscularis mucosi and the submucous coat then the muscular coat then the outer serous coat so here there is these layers present in the inner surface of the cecum cecum is the peritoneal organ it is both present in the peritoneal cavity that's why ascending colon descending colon these are the solely retroperitoneal but cecum is completely peritoneal like the sigmoid colon and also the artery supply so cecum so this is the cecal portion cecum is supplied by the branch of the superior mesenteric artery here it is the superior mesenteric artery that will give supplies to the small intestine as well as mid gut so cecum is the part of the mid gut so it will be supplied by the superior mesenteric artery so superior mesenteric artery has a branch that is cecal branch okay so cecal branch which is the also the branch of iliac colic artery okay so first branch is iliac colic artery then it has anterior and posterior cecal branch okay iliac colic artery has two branches anterior cecal branch posterior cecal branch anterior cecal branch gives supply to the anterior gives supply to the anterior surface of the cecum but posterior cecal artery has two branches one goes as a goes ascend to the posterior layer of the cecum and another that is inferior layer of the cecum goes inferiorly and forms the appendicular artery okay here the appendicular artery which gives supply to the appendix so appendicular artery is a branch of inferior cecal artery and inferior cecal artery goes posterior to the ileum so here you can see the ileum and the appendicular artery goes inferior to the ileum and give supply to the appendix as an appendicular artery now the venous drainage venous drainage is as like as superior superior mesenteric vein correspondingly super mesenteric vein gives venous drainage or takes venous drainage from the mid gut
then along the vascular plane so there you can see the there are many vascular plans and the limb not present just along the vascular plane so the pre-sical node is the sical drainage so there are multiple nodes that will drain lymphatic drainage that will drain primarily in the pre-sical nodes and appendix has its own appendicular nodes is cecum ileum also okay so here it is very much important now the development of the cecum so cecum is a part part of mid gut so cecum derived from the lower part of the cecal diverticulum which is anti clockwise rotated as like 270 degree rotation anti clock so sickle diverticulum present in in the left side but when during development that sickle will rotate anti clockwise about 270 degree and comes to the right side so the location of the sickle can be changed according to the developmental background it can be present in the right iliac fossa it can be present in the subhepatic area present surrounding in the left side that is left iliac fossa and also uh, in the pelvis so there are various area according to the developmental anomalies but the usual location is it lies in the right iliac fossa and also uh, uh, part of the lumbar region that is the right lumbar region so and the appendix it has also a mini area now the vermiform appendix appendix is so appendix is a uh, worm like structures it is about 2 to 20 centimeter long in average it is 9 centimeter which is warm like because in case of children it can be more longer than the elder people it is called the abdominal tonsil its main function is to make immunity to the gut why because it has many lymphatic follicles in the submucous area so that it can make the immune sensation immune sensation that will make immunoglobulin A in the gut and, and also uh, helps in digestion of some 
other food particles so in case of children the opening of the vampire appendix is wider so that fecal matter sometimes obstruct the appendix and forms the appendicitis it is an emergency condition that is that must be treated surgically but nowadays some surgeons and some doctors has a debate with the surgery because there are few medications there are good medications also present to overcome the acute emergency but the treatment is appendicectomy that means to resect the appendix so you can see the appendicular artery which is the posterior cecal branch of ileocolic artery so it is the posterior cecal branch so a division comes from that artery and forms the appendicular artery so appendicular artery is an end artery so it has a branch up to the bot neck base neck body and tip okay so it has part that is base neck body and tip so base neck and body also has a direct supply but tip has less supply that's why the tip is most dangerous to become gangrenous or necrosed it easily necrosed and become perforated or gangrenous because it is an end artery according to the characteristic of end artery this artery has no other additional or collateral supply with without the appendicular artery there is no other collateral circulation that gives supply to the ap appendix so it is more dangerous or more prone to necrosed okay so appendicular artery present a two layers of peritoneum you can see the yellowish fat like structures it is called the meso appendix so like the transverse colon like the sigmoid colon these are appendix has its own peritoneal fold that is meso appendix meso uh, so the appendicular artery present in the free border of the meso appendix okay so this is the bounded border and this is the free border so appendicular artery lies along the free border of the meso appendix so and now how the lymphatic follicles are present in the appendix you can see this is the histological structures of appendix you can see there are multiple aggregated lymphoid follicles present in the submucous coat of the vermiform ap appendix that will give supply to the immunity that's why it is called the abdominal tonsil so outer to inward it has a serosa then longitudinal muscle fibers so outer longitudinal inner circular muscles and the submucosa coat which contains blood vessels that is the terminal branch of appendicular artery along with some various lymphatic aggregated lymphoid lymph node lymphoid nodules and there are some crypt there are crypt of light present in the mucous membrane that will helps to secret appendicular secretion okay so now where what are the positions like there are various positions of appendix in our body here you can see there are multiple positions let's look out so there are most common positions of the appendix is retrocecal it is about 60% that means a uh, appendix lies posterior to the like posterior to the cecum you can see here uh, there are the pictures like here the Bay from the base, the appendix lies posterior to the cecum. Okay, posteriorly, this is about sixty percent. Uh, or in some books, it is called the twelve o'clock positions. That means just posteriorly. 
so another important level is a pelvic it is second most common that is about 30 percent in in many peoples and there are pre ileal and post ileal this is the pre ileal and this is the post ileal so pre ileal variety is most dangerous and it is 0.1 percent and rare so why it is dangerous because the tip is most vulnerable for appendicitis and that infection can be spread to the peritoneal membrane that's why it easily transmit to the peritoneal that is greater omentum intestine and the the mesentery and the other structures and it, it make the peritonitis later on post ileal variety just it goes inferior to the terminal ileum and another one is a pelvic variety okay it goes to the towards the pelvis okay this is the towards the pelvis and another one is goes directly to the inguinal mid inguinal variety it goes to, to uh, towards the inguinal canal one is the pelvic variety so here is the pelvic variety and one is for mid inguinal variety so sometimes in some cases if the rotation is not complete or hold that then cecum and appendix can be present in the left iliac fossa in that case along with appendix also present in the left side this condition is called the citrus inversus inverse mean opposite citrus that means all the viscera lies on the opposite structures not only in the cecum appendix but also heart but also the liver but also the other organs okay kidney spleen so all are the viscera can be present in the opposite side than the normal side it is called the citrus inverses so that is all about our today's lecture so if you got any problems or if you have that you cannot understand more properly you can comment on the video so here one thing i must explain there are two races that is superior ileocecal races and inferior ileocecal races it is not uh, uh, not asked in the exam but sometimes if the examiner is so much rude or if a student is so perfect then sometimes teachers ask this question this question and their location so here you can see there is a fold or gap it is called this superior ileocecal races and this is called the inferior ileocecal races so what is the important superior ileocecal races will contain the superior ileocecal artery and vein okay superior ileocecal that is and uh, ileocecal artery and the ileocolic vein goes through the races and in case of inferior ileocecal races appendicular artery vein goes towards through the inferior ileocecal races so it is the Im importance thank you very much for patience hearing and i hope you will enjoy the lecture then in the next class i will going to describe about the colonic area thank you